Welcome back to The Spirit of Christmas in Jefferson. Well, welcome to the Dotson home place. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have stepped back about 150, 200 years, something like that. It's beautiful. I love your place. I love history. Tell me about well, the, this. The Dotson Home Place was built in 1861, right at the beginning of the Civil War, by J.B. Dotson, along with his wife, L.V. Uh, Culberson Dotson. Uh, Mr. Dotson was a local merchant, also had built several homes around the community. But like the other able-bodied men at the time, they were called off to the Civil War. He fought on the side of the Confederacy and unfortunately was killed in the Battle of Raymond in 1863, leaving his wife as a widow along with his infant daughter. Oh, that's incredible. Well, it's, it's gorgeous. Not a huge house. No, it's a very modest home, yes. especially even for today's, by today's standard as well as the time. Yes. 1861. Take me back. I love the, the bedroom. By the way, this is not a B&B. It's just one of the homes that's on the tour. You yes, actually we, live here. We purchased this, this home, home. In, in 2020. Tell me about the bedroom. Well, this bedroom is really kind of a, a um, kind of really dedicated to my wife's Swedish heritage. Uh, it's beautiful. Uh, her ancestors are from Sweden, and uh, this this room is really uh, decorated with Nordic type of decorations and, and uh, ornaments and things like that. So uh, there's pictures of her ancestors on the wall as well. I love the way you've got it decorated for Christmas. The trees are spectacular. Thank you. Incredible. What's the most interesting aspect of the house? Of course, the fact that it dates to 1861 is pretty incredible. Well, I think uh, the, the, really, we really are uh, interested in the families that lived here previous to us, okay. the Dotsons and the Peebles. Uh, Mrs. Dotson uh, was actually the aunt to the governor of Texas uh, later on in, in the 1800s. So, uh, there's there's a history there. And well, someone has lived in this house since 1861? Yes, the Dotsons had this home until 1923, and then the Peebles, Dr. Peebles here in town, owned the home from 1923, and his family owned the home until 1989. We're only about the fifth family that has owned this home. Wow. And why? Why would you want to have a house like this in a place like this? Well, Jefferson has, has a rich history, and uh, each home here has a story associated with it and uh, so we have been coming to candlelight ourselves for many many years and when it was time to retire we decided Jefferson was the place that we wanted to be. If these walls could speak what a story they would tell. The other thing that I love about Jefferson is that this is not the only one. Oh no. <laughs> There's a bunch of homes like this yes. and three other homes. Three other homes. On the tour. Yes, we have another private home, the Terry McKinnon House, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's on the Texas Registry. We have a B&B, &B, the Steamboat Inn, which has never been on candlelight. So that'll be a treat because a lot of people have been coming here for 41 years. They've never missed one, so this will be the first time they'll get to see the Steamboat Inn. And then we have the J. Cool Gould rail car, the Atalanta, that's across from the Excelsior House. That's a treat. That is a treat. Yes, My he goodness. lived in that car. Right. Yes. Okay, I want tickets. Oh, we can get you tickets. <laughs> um, you can go to jeffersoncandlelight.com, and if you go on there up until November the 23rd, you can get discounted tickets 25% off. Easy to get a ticket. It's easy, way easy. Right, but what you've got to remember, folks, is that this is unique. There's no other place that I can think of, maybe in the country, when you can walk into homes that are 150, 160 years old and experience Christmas as it used to be. The spirit of Christmas in Jefferson continues after the break. <laughs>